Hey guys, so we've been learning about Egypt and Egypt is a country in Africa, one of the seven continents of our world. And today we're gonna to be learning about mummies and mummification. And then I'm going to show you how you can have your very own mummy at home, how you can make one. So a long, long time ago, ancient Egyptians had very strong religious beliefs about their afterlife. They believed that if you preserved your body, that you would get to live forever in your afterlife. The ancient Egyptians built very big pyramids and tombs to which where they would bury their dead. And inside the tombs, they would have a burial chamber. And in their burial chamber, they would put furniture and gold and food and um, anything that would help them live in their afterlife to make it more comfortable. Um, so one thing about the human body is that after it passes away, our body begins to rot. And so the ancient Egyptians were very smart. So they learned that if they started to dry out their body and start to do the mummification process, then your body would be preserved and it wouldn't rot away. And they felt that if they preserved their body, their body or their spirit would go on to the afterlife. So a long, 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 long time ago, the ancient Egyptian people used to bury their dead in shallow graves in the dry, hot sand. And that would help to dry out their bodies, leaving them perfectly preserved. But then they started to use a special method called the mummification process or also embalming. And that would help preserve their body using different salts and oils and spices and it helped preserve their body even better. So we're going to learn about how we can mummify our, our own. So at home, I bet almost everyone has their very own Barbie or Ken. I have a Ken because Daniel, um, he likes to play with Ken. But I also have a very special mummy that I'm going to show you the whole process on mummification. Okay. So the very first thing they would do is that they would take all of the organs out of the body. But there was four special organs, or three special organs that they would leave, I'm sorry, there's four special organs that they would do something very special with. They would take out, I'm gonna show you. So here's our mummy. There are lungs. There's the stomach and the liver, and there's the intestines. And for each of these organs, they would do something very special with them. So we're gonna take out the lungs, and they would put them in canicook jars. I'm just using a medicine jar, but they had very special jars back then. And then they would put a special amulet over it. These these are very special animals that help protect the organs that were inside of the, um, of the body. Okay. So here we go, putting them in there. And the animals are protecting them. All right, so after they took out all the major organs, they would dry the body in salt. So if you have salt at home, I want you to sprinkle some salt all over your kin or all over your Barbie. Sprinkle salt. I'm not gonna sprinkle salt right now because I don't wanna get it all over my furniture. And I had to come in my bedroom so I can video this so Daniel wouldn't be up and touching all the mummies. <laughs> okay, so then they would wrap their organs in special linen cloth, okay? But I know not everyone has special linen cloth at home, but everyone has toilet paper, especially now. So you're gonna take your mummy, and I want you to wrap your mummy really tight. Even the head 
It will help preserve the head. Okay, once your mummy is wrapped, the ancient Egyptians would put special amulets on the mummy to help protect it from evil spirits. And then also, they would put a special mask over their mummy. Just like this. See, I've made a mummy. And then they would put them in a special case. And it would kind of look like this. There would be symbols all over it. And they would place their mummy right inside. Just like this. And then they would put their special jars of their organs also inside. So that the person can take their organs along with them. I hope you enjoyed our special lesson about mummification in ancient Egypt. Bye guys.